I'm Romeo back from the Shadow Realm and in the reaction today I'm going to be checking out Film Theory Follow the Rabbit decoding the Walton files. Let's jump into it, man. The Walton files. If it's spooky, I'm here for it, man. I love the spooky Hello, theories. Hello, and welcome to your first day on the job here at Theorist HQ. We have all sorts of fun planned for you as you start working as our newest... Insert job title here. Before we begin your exciting Theorist adventure, mm. we are legally obligated to tell you that by continuing this tape, you are implicitly entering a legal agreement with Theorist is no longer liable for any injuries or, in rare cases, premature deaths befalling Pre you premature and your family deaths. from any or all of the following. Paper cuts, running with scissors, vending machine accidents, Ray computer Ooh. monitors, the what? What's going on? <laughs> Mommy. You're the still hell? there? Great. Welcome to your new job. Oh, and watch out for that thing that's behind the TV. <laughs> what was behind a TV? A rabbit? A rabbi? Hello, Internet. A rabbi? Welcome to film theory. Where we still think you're beautiful no matter how long your mangled thing is kind of ugly stuffed inside robotic sheets So if you've ever been on these channels for even a fraction of a second Chances are that you know that we're big fans of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, no, no not I'm also that sort of fan. a fan put that thing away You put it back in that heck closet where you came from but in all seriousness being a fan at this point is a mm. bit of an understatement Game theory has gotten 45 episodes dedicated That's to a the lot of episodes thing. heck in less than a year food theory got an episode it is practically a rite of passage for the theorist channels at this point but what about me poor little underappreciated mm. film theory the middle child between the official movies constant delays and other fnafy films like the banana splits and willie's wonderland being right. meh at best it seemed like there was really no chance for the requisite film theory on animatronic horror set in a nostalgic 80s era restaurant franchise but then i found something changed the walton files the walton a combination files. Season animation one. live action audio play horror mystery experience here on youtube created by the Chilean animator Martin Walls. The events of the story, which is still ongoing and unfinished according to its creator, obviously draws heavily from its FNAF source material, but it yeah. uses those elements to tell a horrific tale in its own fresh way. A tale where the biggest horror isn't the immortal aubergine serial killer, but rather mm. our own failings as human beings. But in order to get to that end result, oh, you first need to piece beings. it all together. True to form, on a first watch, all you're going to take away are a bunch of disturbing images. Those but are if crazy. You dare to look closer, the real plot is hidden by glitches. Yeah, that's scary audio unlisted videos and even the scariest place of them all the youtube comment section <gasps> So what is the tale <laughs> right, the hidden YouTube inside the section. redacted Walton files? That, my friends, is what we Creepy. aim to decode. At its core, we're very much in the FNAF tribute zone. At least at first. There is a Chuck E. Cheese-inspired family restaurant mm. with animatronic robot mascots, a yet unspecified incident of 1974 that causes it to be condemned, and a right. legacy of horrific, possibly supernatural terrors spinning off from all of it. The restaurant in question this time, Bond's Burgers, which is said to have operated in Bonds 1974 Burgers. in Brighton, Michigan. The hook? A troop of robotic mascot characters called the Showstoppers, which include our title character Bon Bunny, Boozu the Ringmaster, Shaw the Sheep, Billy the Clown, and Banny the Other Rabbit because redundant. So far, the canon storyline is spread out across three main uploads made by a person named Anthony, titled Anthony. Introductory Tape, Tape Relocate Relocation. Project, and Bunny Farm. We Bunny know this based Farm. on messages Anthony leaves in the description of each video. As he himself calls out, each upload is, in fact, a compilation of tapes, ranging from found footage to gameplay mm. recordings to training tapes for new employees. And right off the bat, we're presented with this. Backwards text. Backwards text that, when flipped, gives us this message. You finally start to remember that old day. They will look out for you soon. You finally start to, to remember, remember that, that old day. day. They will look out for you soon. So already within uh. minutes of this thing starting, we can tell that we're dealing with a repressed memory or amnesia plot. But who or what is coming for us? It's two minutes later when things get real serious. Bond invited Shah, Bozu, and... What is that? H Hello? <sighs> that nightmare fuel there is Jack Walton, one of the co-founders of creepy. Bond's Burgers alongside his best friend Felix Kranken. We're told later in the series that they met in college in 1958 via their shared dream mm. of building a restaurant themed around robotic mascots, which kind of feels like a weirdly specific thing to have a shared dream about with a random guy you met in college, but hey, you do you, Jack. Well, apparently doing you means putting his creepy pasta face in the scariest places imaginable. Jack is everywhere across all these tapes, on a mm. movie box, on late night television, in 
in your backpack. We see a missing poster appear on TV with Jack's face, but unfortunately, the video is too low quality to make out the details on the bottom on their own. Right. Ugh, the sound design of this thing is just horrific. You would think that yeah, our clues would end there, hell. but in a brilliant move on the part of Martin Walls, creator of the series, by turning on closed captions, we can see that Jack has been missing since June 11th, 1974, the same year that Bond's Burgers opened and then shortly thereafter closed. Coincidence? I think not. Mm -hmm. Our little Bond cartoon tries to get some light, but in a flash, we see a possessed Bond animatronic over a new character named Sophie, dressed in every security guard's favorite color purple. After the Sophie jump scare, we cut to live action found footage from October 10th, 1982, where we meet and immediately lose our final new character from this first video, Brian Stells, a facility Brian caretaker Stells. for Bunny Smiles Incorporated, the parent company of Bond's Burgers. But he's not going to a restaurant, friends. Instead, we watch going? as he drives to a storage facility that's buried deep in the woods labeled K-9. I've been driving for 20 minutes and I can't find the place. I made it to the location, I think. Creepy. His job is to test out the animatronics. Hmm. Alone in the woods in an abandoned storage facility, turning on bloody animatronics. I think we all know how this one's gonna end. Brian is chased into the forest by Bond, Pretty only to get creepy. himself Holy crushed, crap. leaving us with the parting words, quote, he thought I was her. Notice again the thought purple uniform. Her. Suspicious. And Not with that uplifting much. message, the first upload of the series ends. But the mystery continues. You see, under the video is a pinned comment written by an account named <laughs> the What was is, it called? Huh? Uh, it looks like someone tried to typing it with their feet a string of random letters and numbers seemingly amounting to nothing but you all know better because you all are theorists you know that's going to be a code and indeed it is it's a text string written in base 64 which when translated using an online decoder mm. gives us quote the first pieces of the puzzle have been placed the puzzle is far from a solution however be wary of the hints that appear over time one misdirection can throw off the course of this puzzle forever psi 05 noteworthy here is the name psi 05 which when translated back in base 64 is go figure k9 just like the animatronic storage oh, facility man. and now things are really getting suspicious going to his channel <laughs> reveals nothing but a ticking clock and a promise of more puzzle pieces for those who are patient and speaking of patiently <sighs> waiting for more clues we'll be back with more walton files clues here in a minute but first it's time for a break to thank our sponsor for this portion of today's episode google one who sent me go figure this old vhs tape for the integration Google One. Hey, you? Yes, you there, sitting on the couch. Are your photos overflowing? Is your cloud feeling crowded? Do you have a mysterious facility buried in the woods hiding your deepest, darkest secrets because you have nowhere else to put them? If any of those apply to you, and let's face it, we've all been in at least one of those situations, then you should consider Google One, the paid membership that's designed to give you expanded cloud storage for protecting and preserving all your most important memories. Google One's expanded storage works across Gmail, Google Photos, and Google Drive, allowing you to continue living your digital life to the fullest without having to stop and make the hard decisions of what to delete just to save a few extra gigs. True story, breaking from that VHS thing for a second here, we recently celebrated our 10-year anniversary over on Game Theory, which yeah. meant a lot of retrospectives and lookbacks. And as you might imagine, a decade's worth of scripts, videos, and photos is a lot of data. But my Google One 2TB subscription has allowed me to keep it all for all of these years. I was able to find my first editor emails in Gmail filled wow. with hundreds of notes. The first photos on Google Photos of me starting the channel back in New York. The first ever Game Theory script in Google Drive with its last modification back in 2011. At no point do I ever feel like I have to slow down my real life to maintain that digital life. It's always just getting backed up for me whenever I need it to be. And that's right. honestly only if you're a heavy storage user like me. You don't even have to be a Google One subscriber to start backing things up to the cloud. Every Google account comes with 15 gigabytes of storage. Plenty of room to store all those vacation photos, happy family videos, email threads where you secretly oust the co-founder of your animatronic burger restaurant it also comes with a phone backup tool which is helpful if you ever lose or break phones and a storage mm -hmm. manager where you can easily sort and delete files by size with google one you no longer have to go to dangerous storage facilities alone in the woods to revisit yeah. your loved ones now their memories are G right man this is a long ass ad that missing, i didn't but choose those to skip documents won't be thanks to google one thanks to google one for sponsoring I just realized that, that part of the video now back to the theory so to recap almost we have tuned Bonds out Burgers everything he just said jack walton missing but perhaps still alive due to a message of let me out of here on 
on Bonds TV in that first video, we All have right. someone trying to regain lost memories and someone or something else trying to help those memories come back. We also have two purple clad security caretakers, Dead Brian from 1982, mm -hmm. who was mistaken for someone else, and Sophie. Could Brian have been mistaken for Sophie? Maybe, but to know for sure, we have to continue to the second and longer video titled right. Walton Files 2 Relocate Project. And again, having closed captions on gives us immediate clues that we wouldn't have otherwise. Dates for the four tapes that we're about to watch, which surprisingly are all released around the same time. A training tape from July 2nd, 1978. A tech support tape from a few days later, July 9th, 1978. Found footage from three technicians dated July 12th to the 14th. And then finally a jump forward to a reprogramming tape from a month later, August, also 1978. Man, isn't it nice when franchises give you a clear and thought out timeline? Hmm? Isn't that a nice thing to have? <coughs> Scott Cawthon, I hope you're taking notes. <coughs> oh, sorry, my allergies just kicked in there. Oh, I'm allergic to unclear and muddy timelines. From these tapes, we start to fill in the gap of time from the previous upload. With all these coming from 1978, we learn what's happened since the closure of Bond's Burgers and Jack's disappearance four years prior, but also what led to Brian's death in 1982. We see that, in that time, Jack's partner Felix Kranken completely took over the company, literally cropping out his former best friend like you do with an ex-boyfriend on social media. The name Relocate Project is his initiative to, well, I'll let the text-to-speech bot tell you. The purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant in future. A pretty smart plan, right? A not-so-distant future of 1982, as we see on this high-fidelity drawing of the restaurant. So this tells us that Brian's death, also in 1982, was a direct result of Felix trying to rebrand and reopen the Bonds Burger franchise. And the film isn't subtle about how great of a guy Felix is. Let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. Hold on, what, what's that in the darkness? Yeah. Brighten it. What is oh! It? oh. Oh! Sends shivers down my spine. The but hell? there's Jack again, almost as if he disagrees with the video calling Felix such a smart and amazing guy. The rest of the tapes in this batch seem to be telling us which souls possess which animatronics. We first see Banny the Lady Bunny, who seems to be possessed by a woman named Susan Woodings based on a missing poster that needs to be brightened in order to read. Banny seems to be trapped, as throughout mm. her section we see imagery of caged rabbits and hear that. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Sounds like that bunny yeah, might be starving. That I don't is know, creepy. Just a hunch. So, is Susan starving, or is this the animatronic itself starving and needing to feed on souls? It's unclear at this point, but it does seem to connect with a secret final line that happens after this episode's credits. Waiting until the very, very, very end of the video gives us this line. Shadow Man feeds me when lights go off. Weird, right? It would seem That's like we weird. have another malevolent force at play in the story, or maybe the Shadow Man is a caretaker of sorts for these animatronics and the souls that are contained inside. Either way, mm -hmm. it does seem like we see the Shadow Man on this same upload, in the third tape, the technical support VHS. Here, Shah the Sheep gives us a tour of the facility, leaving rooms and leaving behind a dark figure, something that could easily be described as a Shadow Man. But right. that's not all the creep factor in this tape. In addition to your standard creepy posters on the wall and disturbing imagery, we get this piece of audio. More reverse sounds. Playing it backwards, we get this. Rosemary would go to the restaurant every night mm -hmm. hoping that his beloved husband would reappear after being missing for weeks, but no response until one day she heard a voice saying, I know where she is, Rosie, coming from the backstage. So it seems obvious that Shaw has the spirit of a woman named Rosemary inside. Based on the fact that we hear talk of her missing husband, Rosemary appears to be Jack's wife, also meeting with an untimely fate. But the real detail to call out here is the voice that leads her backstage before she gets stuffed using a shorter, more casual name like Rosie. She's actively being lured back there by someone who knows who she is. We hear later that Bond the Bunny is the one who will... will fix you. You will be so, could it be that Bon was also the one luring her into the back? Or was it the Shadow Man? In any case, it's yet another confirmed victim of the restaurant chain, and yet mm -hmm. another animatronic identity confirmed. Which leads us to the last tape of the bunch, in which three employees spend a night in the K-9 facility as they try to reprogram the animatronics. Ashley Parks, one of the three, wanders off at night to explore deeper into the facility. Through her found footage, we not only meet a new animal friend, a gray rabbit that appears to be more puppet 
puppet than robot, but right. we also get up close and personal with Billy the Clown, which seems to be an older model complete with a cassette player in his stomach. And of course, this being a horror series, Ashley can't help herself. She plays the tape creepy. only to hear this. Jack, Susan, Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. A list of names, and not just any names, Jack, Susan, Rosemary, Sophie. One character we know went missing, two we know are in animatronics, and mm. Sophie, whose role is still unclear. Plus, there's a new name this time, Charles. Could this be a list of souls possessing our five animatronics? Or, since we suspect that Rosemary and Jack were husband and wife, are they instead all related to each other? It remains to be seen at this point in the series. What doesn't remain a mystery, though, is the fate of Ashley, who, like so many before her, gets attacked by Bon and put into Billy. In a flash right. frame before the video ends, we're left with this chilling message and text across the screen of how their visit ended. They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early, but she was in the back door, screaming as much as she could, but no one heard the screams. The following days, the caretakers would complain about an awful smell coming from the back door. Company right. decided to shut down the facility until new advice. The relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley is still there, but she's not screaming anymore. What she saw heck? something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Again, just like Rosemary, we have this repeated theme of beauty that fusing with the robots make you beautiful in some way. And with that, we're through everything from the first two canon Walton files, or are we? Whoa. You see, there's one other massive secret in so this video. Creepy. A hidden code to find an unlisted video on Martin Walls' channel. And mm. it's hinted at by everyone's favorite commenter, more puzzle pieces have been laid out for you. Others are more significant than others. Two pieces are crucial to slowly achieving the solution. Mm -hmm. Find the pieces, return them to me, and meet at the intersection. See you soon. End quote. And wouldn't you know it, but sure enough, there's a YouTube link broken in two pieces, hidden at both the front and back of the Relocate Project video. Putting them together gives you access to a secret video, Lucky You, where everything starts to come together. Yeah. But that, my friends, is a story for another day when we continue dissecting wow. the clues hidden in this incredibly dense series so for today i'm gonna have to leave it at that three this is a crazy animatronics and theory. a lot of loose threads to tie up like, i like this is sophie what happened to jack what is the shadow man and seriously a burger restaurant pizzeria burger restaurant, i get but though. burgers i don't know I mean, now burgers are good to disbelief anyway what you think should i keep going was that a fun one i like that uh, maybe fun's the wrong word maybe interesting I like the theory compelling? the cool thing about this series is that it's able to get dark in a way that fnaf really can't or at least mm -hmm. hasn't yet but this is more visceral more raw and to me as a result much more scary so if you'd like to see more leave the comment down below wah wah walton i don't know why i asked you for that specifically i thought it would be kind of funny to see a bunch of wah wah waltons down there but you know you can just leave a comment of whatever and heck make sure you subscribe because at this point i at least have to get through that secret video in part three right, right? yeah i like i like this theory a lot if you like my reaction hit the thumbs up let me know what you want to see me react to next